Hello guys, so I'm refilming this. It was actually the same day, it's just that I thought I'm going out and then um, I changed and then uh, my friend cancelled the appointment which she had something on. So I decided to sit right here and talk to you guys about what I missed out from the previous one. And I didn't want to use my camera because my mom is sleeping in my room right now. So that's why the change of setup so i'm briefly going to talk about some of the products i recommend you guys getting from sephora other than the fact that the things that i bought like i unboxed for you guys because those things i've yet to try but just um, sharing with you guys to see um, what are some of the things i bought um the next thing is i actually really wanted to just give like a shout out to um Biosons because I really wanted to buy the set. I'm not sure if I have talked about in the in the video like previously, but I really wanted to kind of like talk about it because I feel like their products are like clean, and I'm slowly getting into it. And I actually have a website which I will link down below. Not my website, but I found to be useful to kind of compare ingredients to see like if they are like of high risk or low risk or so that type of thing. So I'll leave it down just in case you guys have uh, products you guys wanted to try out, and then. Yeah, so that is about it. So I think that their products are pretty good, um, especially the peptide eye gel and the squalene oil. That one, I think those two, they are very clean. If I'm not wrong, I might be wrong. Just check it out yourself. Um, they have very clean like ingredients, very safe using. So I think that's really good. And I really wanted to try. And they also have like these phyto um, or phyto like retinol thing like the derivative of retinol and I really wanted to try it because my aunt loves retinol as you guys can see from the previous like unboxing video of the Sephora haul she got the Peter Thomas Roft um, retinol like serum and she said that it did help her kind of like you know um, target those like pores areas like minimize the pores lesser like chin acne and overall appearance it appears to be better so she actually encouraged me to get one and I told her I've never tried a retinol before and then she was like okay then you can try one that has very little percentage just to kind of get your face used to it first and then when I told her about Biosan she said you can try it's new um, but probably also quite gentle so I think um, you guys can try it out the set is currently out of stock which I think that's the most value for money if you want to buy the small size to try they do sell this separately but I think they're expensive like two of the products it's already $86 and the set which has four items is only 83 or 84 correct me if I'm wrong or just like check out the Sephora app and um, there isn't and for one of the items I think it's a probiotic gel um, they don't have the travel size so you have to, have to put a, you have to buy the full size and the bad news is that the full size is out of stock so I'm not sure if they're going to mm, restock or anything like that but I'm probably going to order the retinol in full size for myself to try because I just I really wanted to order the 10 mils to try but it's already $43 and the full size which is 30 mils is only 111 so after discount it's 34 ish and $88 around there so I'm thinking like it's not worth it you know but, but I'm still like debating if I should get the travel size or the full size because I'm not sure if I want to commit and I'm not sure if uh, retinol is the kind of like product that suits my skin yep so okay so carry on from there there's a few couple of products I want to let you guys know first up is I think I did mention in that video that I stopped using like um pore filling primers like benefit professional um like those smashbox that kind of pore filling um you know reducing pores smoothing primers i've stopped using those i have used changed to use like the shoe mera stage performer it's a block booster protective moisture primer base so it has SPF 50 and PA triple plus the reason why i feel like i wanted to try something is because i feel like every time i use that type of pore, um, that kind of um, pore primers it makes me look good but throughout the day it just you know looks the same and i feel like every time i use it my fingers because i'll rub it against my fingers and then press it on i always feel like my fingers the skin are peeling off and i don't quite like the thing it's quite rough so i stopped using for like about a month or yeah, about a month and then i started using something like that because i always feel like you know i somewhere i've got to know of this i learned that if, it, if your skin is oily it's probably because it doesn't have enough moisture so you should actually continue to moisturize it properly 
so that you can kind of balance them. And I thought that, you know, maybe I should use a moisture primer and I have to have two of this travel size. This is the first one. I'm almost at the end of it. I have another one which I like I'm going to use after this one. I've been enjoying this honestly. It's a very, very light beige texture. That. and they were saying that it can actually kind of like color correct like make it more radiant but honestly I feel like it just brighten it a little bit just a tad bit okay but it's not super moisturizing like it feels really tacky or very very heavy it's very light it smells okay it's a very light very light faint smell and it has SPF 50 so like a moisturizer primer slash like um like SPF sunscreen so um, I do find my face of course like all my moisturizer and serum and everything and then I use this one but I don't use any more sunblock then after that I use my La Marin cushion which I also have sunblock on top so it kind of like balance everything so I enjoy this one throughout the day I would say that my skin do get oily like quite oily because I have oily combination skin but the thing is despite the oil okay you think that you know with so much oil produced all your makeup would have melted away but if you were to use like a the micellar water to clean all the makeup will be cleaned off by the cotton pad that i've used meaning that there is still all the makeup products on the skin you know it's not melted away it did not disappear so it did adhere the makeup there really really nice it's just that you know there's no oil control property so you probably need, you probably need to blot or powder throughout the day but i highly recommend this one I will probably finish this one, finish the backup, and I will try the one that I've always wanted to try, which is clear the pole, some kind of like veil thing. And if that one don't work out for me, I will definitely repurchase this one because it's just so easy to use. I've got, I've got no complaints. Every morning, you know the thing is that you don't necessarily like the thing, but you know that you really love it when you don't want to change it. You're just so comfortably reaching out for it. You know that kind of thing? So this is this is what I feel when I get this one or when I'm using this one. So I highly recommend you guys, if you guys like I like me, you know, you guys felt like maybe silicone or net pore feeling primers are not doing so much things and you want to use just a primer to make sure that the makeup stays and you're not really like that concerned about being too oily or whatnot, try this one. I recommend this one. But if you guys are the type of people that you know I prefer using the normal primer, like the ori the original one, those one, I think that you guys can give Tatcha a try. This one is a so-called like like a trial size. You know, when you look at it, it doesn't look like I've used a lot, but if you look at this, you will see like a slight dip. I use this every single day when I was in Japan for my Japan trip, and I love it. It is the type of primer that makes you look good in photo. Not necessarily pore filling, but it makes your skin look good. And it adheres the makeup throughout the day. So I really recommend this one. It might be pricey, but it's good to try it. I don't think there is this set anymore. Maybe in stores they have, but I don't think in the website they have it on the website they have it but check it out and if you want like a ordinary primer that does its job try this one touch is really really good yeah like it the texture is also very like it's just it's not heavy it just feels comfortable on the skin which i think is a very comfortable it's a very good thing it's like something that i will look for for primer because sometimes when you put on a layer too much product it feels it feels very very stuffy so like it Next one, just also from Tatcha, since I'm on the like the Tatcha topic, so this one, this one I bought it um, way before Sephora got it, and I've been using it. Um, it's a little bit like if you put it in the shower, this place starts to get a little bit damp, so you kind of have to like make sure you get the product freshed, you know. So I purchased the normal classic one, but I feel like. Um, if you were to use it daily, then get the sensitive one. But for me, I don't use it daily. I use it maybe every other week. And I feel like it really does its job in like as a physical exfoliator. It really exfoliates your skin very, very gently. And it's not like the green of the sugar, which is very big and rough. It really just kind of feels very... It's like a gentle version of like those big, chunky grits that you put on your face and i really really like it you know and i've used like the skin for the strawberry one instead of the black sugar one that one feels a bit gritty as well and i really like it and also because it's like a rice powder i feel like it controls the oil a little bit better so on times when i use this the following day when i use like my regular foundation and everything i feel like my oil production is a little bit lesser yeah and I like to like, kind of like after I use it um, to like massage onto my face, I like to set it, like let it sit there while I shampoo and do the rest of the things. And then after the wash it off, I feel like that really just, 
I don't know, it just makes me feel really clean. That's one thing, without stripping the moisture. And it doesn't kind of like makes it really, really like painful. Like you feel like you ex over exfoliate your skin. And it makes the next day, like, like, like I said, the application of the makeup a little bit less oily, which I do appreciate because I have oily combination skin. So yeah, but it's a very, very big bottle. I highly recommend you guys getting the travel size if you can find. But if not, you can get this one and then use it. I mean, you can use, you can ask everybody to use together. But sometimes because I have a little bit of acne here, and sometimes when I feel like it's a bit oily, and regular soap can't get really the gunk out, I will use a little bit of this. Like, after I kind of um, massage my face, I bring whatever left over here, and it's super clean. Like, really, really super clean. So I do enjoy this one. And I feel like to keep the product fresh, you know, when you use it for a couple of times and you're not using it fast enough, instead of like, you know, trying to save every penny, uh, you can try to use it on because your whole body is your asset, you know, love them all. But I recommend this one. Yeah, then on the same brand, also from Tatcha, um, I recommend this one. I'm not really like a setting, like a dewy setting spray type of person because like I said, I'm oily skin. So the only setting spray I've ever used before is the one from NYX. And then recently I purchased the Pollution All Nighter Pollution Free Urban Decay one just to make sure, I just wanted my makeup to be a little bit more matte throughout the day. I'm trying to find new ways around it but before that, when I feel like my skin, I want a little bit like, like a boost to the skin. You know, I use this one and I enjoy it, you know, and it's coming from a person with oily skin. I enjoy this one. I've been using this a lot, I would say, but I really enjoy using it. So the main point of this whole thing is that if you're someone who loves setting spray or like any spray that can make you look dewy instead of like skincare spray, you know, like the Zoom 37 spray that I have, that one I use it for skincare, then I use it a lot. But if you are the type of person who just want your skin to look dewy, like makeup type, this is the one to try, you know, I really enjoy it. So yeah, if you guys have been waiting to try a setting spray that gives you like the dewy finish, this is the one to go. Next one is this one. This is a something which I tried and I really enjoy. This one is the Super Goop Setting Mist with SPF 50. So sometimes I feel like, you know, that after putting on SPF, you have to continuously reapply it throughout the day so that the SPF stays, you know, like active. And this one, I got it, I think, through, I can't remember where I got it from, but I enjoy it because it's just so convenient. You don't have to powder it, you don't have to reapply it. And um, this one just spreads it on. And sometimes when you walk up and you have to go out to grab a lunch or something and you don't want to put on any makeup or to rush out straight away, but you know that you have probably used like retinols or you know, like vitamin C products the day before and your skin is sensitive, spreads this on. It's so fast. You literally just take three sprays, like, psh, 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 and then you let it come set a little bit and then maybe wait for a little while and you can get out of the house. It's just so easy. So I highly recommend this one. However, I do feel like it's a little bit, the texture is not like as refreshing as regular setting mist. Um, it's a little bit more on the, I would say oily, like watery, oily type of texture. And the smell is something that I don't like. It's like a minty type of scent. I don't hate it but it's not like something which I will prefer to smell that kind of thing but because of how convenient it is I highly highly recommend this one this one is just a small, super super small size one so yeah and they don't have any synthetic fragrance or oxybenzone so good yep then next product right mm. I think this is the one this one is like more like a love hate relationship, but I think if you have bleached hair, I bleach my hair, but I don't think you guys can see the color difference. Um, but under sunlight, it's really like green and faded. I bleached in, bleached my ends, and they get a little bit dry. So I'm trying to kind of find a lot of um, products to kind of help detangle, help to smooth them, make them look a little bit more luscious, more healthy. This is one of them that I really like. It's called the Briogeo Rose Carco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioner Spray. So I also have like this travel size. It really makes my my hair really smooth um, and really, really like, when you look at it, you think, oh, the hair, the person is quite healthy. However, it does break me out because I think it's the coconut oil in them. Yeah, I think so. So it kind of like makes me have the kind of like acne around here, but it does leave the hair really, really soft and silky. So I highly recommend you guys go to the store, spritz a little bit, go home, and then try it out for one or two days, 
and then if you don't break up from it get it but if you do break up with it then maybe stay away from it but this one does a really good job in maintaining shine and the texture of the hair if your hair really really needs some help so recommend for the users but maybe not so much for my face so this one take a look and you know kind of like decide for yourself next is Hourglass. I want to talk about Hourglass because Hourglass is pretty expensive, I would say. Um, and I've tried their products before, but I used to love their products. But after that, because they're so expensive, it kind of put me off a little bit. But recently, I saw a Taiwan YouTuber. She's using this blush. And I really wanted to get the... She got the travel size, and I really wanted to get a travel size, but it was not sold in Singapore. But then, when I was looking through, I got myself... I found that I used to have this palette and inside this palette they have the same blush. It is the Mood Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. So it's this color over here. I love it. It is a very weird plummy color. It's very very light. I'm not sure you guys can see. It's very very light but when you put it on, it gives a very nice beautiful flush. It looks a bit plummy but it's also reddish. It's just very nice. It's a very nice like how do I say? Like a very nice blush that blends really nice and give your skin and your cheeks a little bit of like a radiance in it, like pearlescent look. I really like it. So if you guys are interested in Hourglass products, this is the chance to get it because of the 20% off. And then, um, yeah, so next up is this one. I feel like if you guys want to do a cleansing device, okay, then during the Sephora sale is the best time to get them. So I have this one, the Foreo to go. So this is the one that can be charged and I purchased this one and I love it. I feel like sometimes where you don't have the time to do those pore strips or those clay masks and you just want to look very polished the following day, this is a really good one. On times where I use this around the nose, I feel like my nose is really clean, smooth and shiny the following day. But of course the effect doesn't last as long as like to put a pore strip or a clay mask. But if you use it every single day now, of course, but I don't use it every single day because I feel like sometimes um, I'm a little bit rough. So I kind of like, you know, do that motion a little bit too fast. So it's a little bit like... I'm not so gentle on my skin, but it's just me. It's just a user problem. But I highly recommend you guys seize the chance to get it because I use a lot of this and I actually, you know, don't talk about this as much. But I don't recommend getting the to-go because although, yeah, it's small, it's easy to travel. But honestly, if you can bring a palette overseas, you can buy, you can bring a full-size Oreo out. I highly recommend getting the Luna 3 because it's a new revamp version they have a lot more silicone um these little 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 guys here that extend all the way so it, it kind of increases the surface area that it cleanses your face so all of them get like an even clean because for me i have to rotate them pretty much within the 30 seconds or 20 seconds that the timer goes on to clean one part of the face so i have to go back and forth back and forth which is troublesome because if you have a larger surface area you just need to put them and it's just rotate it in smaller circles and all places will get like the full 30 or 20 seconds of cleansing so yeah i do recommend this one like using the 20 percent seal to get your cleansing devices next is this one i didn't expect to like it until recently because recently my hair is really oily and really gunky and it's doing funny stuff then i am using the ordinary peptide thing in the hair and then um, there's ones where I use like I use baby shampoo because I feel like it's like very tight like it's just more gentle and it didn't really get rid of all the kind of like residue that they have um, from using the peptide um, serum and then I was thinking how can I you know get rid of the gum because my hair looks oily even after washing and then that's when I realized oh I used to have this one um, maybe I should use it. So the first time I use it, I don't like it. I hated it because it makes my hair so dry. It makes it very matted, very like knotted and it's just unpleasant. But I do like the smell. So I've never used it ever since. But when I have the issue with the peptide thing, I actually use it and I really try to use it properly. I dug a portion out, put it in my hand and I really spread it until it creates like a more like how to say like more mixed with a little bit of water before I massage into my scalp 
that really do the trick. It really makes my skirt really clean, my hair really clean, it smells really nice too. And then afterwards, I can do all my other hair cares and my hair feels so clean for two days to three days in Singapore's hot weather where I sweat a lot, I perspire a lot, you know that type of thing. I really love it and I have to say I enjoy it. And this one, you see, after that I did use quite a bit. I think maybe two or three or four washes. And I really like the smell, it's very very nice. It's like right up my alley. Highly recommend. And because they are quite expensive, um yeah, they're quite expensive. So you know, get the 20% off and get this if you need something like that. Next up are there yeah, are just two more categories of stuff. Next up is lip products yep 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 okay so i have here pat mcgraw lipsticks yes this is the color lip balm and these are the matte trans lipsticks i would have to say i really enjoy the sheer color lip balms i love all of them they come in a set they have the color flash 3 blow up and a sheer one i'm uh, not sure one a colorless one which i don't have it now with me i use all three of them honestly initially when i saw it i was like very reluctant to buy because of the clear it's like what i'm going to do with a clear lip balm that costs 13 dollars like what the hell and it's just very very tiny it looks so so tiny look at this but it's how much i've used and um, i don't usually use a lot of lipsticks um i do apply lipstick but i don't touch up throughout the day so if a lipstick can be used up to this amount it shows that i really like it i really like this color together glow up together with flesh tree but you guys can see that the lipsticks are not very very hardy it gets really melty and all those and i'm thinking that maybe it's because of the size and probably because it's like a softer formula it gets really you know weird but i do like the combination i have a little bit on um right now not sure if it still shows true and then i put on the battery right in the middle yeah, I think it gives like the most beautiful color that just makes me feel very put together and I even wore this for an interview and I secured a job so I highly recommend this one but they are really really pricey so you do have to choose your own color wisely and the texture is very soft it doesn't have any scent which I they have a very slight sweet vanilla scent but it's very very thin even it's almost like very unnoticeable and I like the texture I feel like it does keep my lips the way it is before I apply it so it kind of just maintains the level and the lip balm which I use is just sufficient for me at night um, in Singapore's weather I mean if you are in a very dry place then probably you need a more potent lip balm but this one for me every night I just apply a thin layer and go to bed it's not sticky it doesn't do anything the next morning I woke up without like this oily film but my lips is very nourished so I like the texture of it and I highly recommend and I think it's a good you know kind of like way to try out their lipsticks if you are finding it very difficult to commit yourself to the full size which is like $59 then this other one then if you're thinking like oh maybe Russell lipsticks aren't the type for me then you can try the matte trans lipstick I really like them but I don't like one of the color this is 1995. I like the color I must say but I don't like the way it is a lot of people got the 40 one I believe it just Okay, sorry, there's not somebody knock at the door and they were doing a charity event, so yeah, I donated. So coming back to the lipstick, so yeah, um, they are really, really weird because the 995 colors, look at this, the whole thing came off. It did not break off, but it came off. I like the formula. I enjoy using it a lot. I love the color, but I just don't like it because I, I didn't even travel with it, you know. I just used it once and then once I went out, I put it in my wallet and I didn't bring it back. I just put it into my wallet and I bring my wallet and walk along the shop for a very, very short trip. And when I came back, it broke. It just came off, fell off, like what it did to one of the YouTuber who did the hourglass review. She also said this about this lipstick. Firstly, they are not super, super cheap. They're expensive, but the quality... You know, and every time when I open up and I have the fear of the lipstick flu flying out because there's a couple of times it flew out and because I know this thing happens, like it happens to her on camera, I was so afraid about it. So I always only used it at home and a few times the bullet flew out and landed on the table, my vanity table. And it was just, you know, it was just like very an unpleasant thing to go through when you're doing makeup, you know, like the fear. 
So I like the color, I like using it, but I'm not like a fan of going through the ordeal to get the effect. Yeah, but I do like it. And I like to pair it like the same thing with the glossy lipstick. I like to pair it with a darker color in the inner part of the lips. It is Flash 3. It looks like this. So it's very, it's not moldy, but it's just like that kind of fogging up of the lipstick. But I really like it. Putting them two together is a perfect matte version of the lips I have right now. And the texture, it's, it's very matte, but it has kind of moisturizing matte. It's not like as drying as the 3CE lipstick. Those are really matte, so the effect they give is the same. But this one has more like, you know that it has more substance, like more body towards the lipstick. If you more blushed. And it's not as drying, but it gives the same pillowy matte finish, which I enjoy. I love it. And on me, on me is another color that I like, but it's a little bit too like purpley. Like it's very plummy and pinkish plum um, in the bullet, but on my lids, after it interacts with my body temperature and whatnot, I feel like it turns a little bit more purple, which I find that it might be a little bit for me to pull off because um, of like my skin tone, a bit more like a yellow. So it kind of makes me look a little bit older than I should. And I have to really plan my outfit before I can pull off such a lipstick. But I do like the formula. And I feel like if you guys want to try the products, this is time because Pam McGrath is also a brand that is very, very costly. So use this chance. It's easy. Use it well. Okay, and then the last item is actually a couple of items, but they are under the same categories. They are the perfumes. I have it over here. So recently, Jo Malone um, came into Sephora. So you can get all like the new fragrance and everything for 20% off. So right here, I have two of my favorites. Actually, I have a lot of Jo Malone favorites, but some are limited edition. I'm not sure if they have it. You guys can take a look. I have two with me here. One is the Blackberry and Bay. Love it. And the other one is a very really strong, like it's not strong as in it smells musky or whatsoever. It's very strong in a way that it feels, how do I say, like it lingers for a very long time. Okay, but it feels very florally and nice and sweet. I like it. So this is like Mimosa, the Mimosa one. It smells like a little bit like baby powder or like the baby, yeah, the baby powder type of like Johnson baby type powder, that type of scent. And I feel very fresh and like I like it, you know. So these are the two that I absolutely love. There's another one which is I think Wild Blue Bell. Like these are all the classic that I'm talking about because this is the one that's readily available. My absolute favorite is actually I can't really remember. It was the Blossom Asashi. Asa yeah. I don't know. I will leave the names when I put them. I will link the pictures. Those two are my absolute favorites. Something something blossom. Yeah, those two are my absolute favorite. I use them all the time. Um, and those are in the 100 ml bottles. So yeah, they are expensive perfumes. And they usually don't last very long. But it's a cult favorite. A lot of people like the perfumes. If you guys wanted to try, this is the time because 20% off. Save the money. Get it. And then next, of course, if you guys are really into Tom Ford, then this is just something that I tried. Because their perfumes are really, really strong. Really, really masculine as well. Um, and I like it, but I feel like I don't have the age yet to pull them off. So these are the two ones that I have, a very small one. This is Black Orchid and this is Velvet Orchid. I do love them. And also because Tom Ford is also a brand that's really, really pricey. Um, so if you wanted to try the products, then get it during the 20% off. And recently, I think they released like one more perfume, which is like fucking fabulous. So that one is a really, really nice scent. I really like it. But like I said, Tom Ford perfume are usually on the stronger, more masculine, which I find it very hard for me to pull off. And sometimes it's a little bit like, it's not like everyone cups of tea. It's like a quiet taste. So um, it's very hard for me to pull off. So I always kind of like go back and forth and decide if I'm going to get it. But if you guys are really like chosen one perfume that you want to get from Tom Ford, there's a chance. Not only the perfume, okay, you guys can always go for more Tom Ford other products like that. Their palettes, uh, yeah, correct. Their palettes and body heat, that one's really nice as well. I really, really wanted to get it, but um, because I'm limiting myself, I did not get it. It was in my cart. And then also like the cushions. Um, I would think that I wouldn't recommend the black one because I feel like that one for my oldest skin didn't work out. But I've heard a lot of good reviews with the white one and the white cushion. You guys can try it out. And yeah, Tom Ford is another brand that you guys should try it out or try and get if it's on your wish for a very long time. Last but not least, it's also like perfume. I feel like sometimes you guys just wanted to, you know, change up the perfume. And sometimes if you're like me, 
full, you know, kind of like finds it very hard to commit yourself to like one product for like the entire year or whatnot. So it's good to try like the rollerballs. This is Chloe out of perfume, out of perfume. Okay, um, and I've been using it quite a while. It's very, very convenient, you know. So I usually put them in my bags or in my makeup bag. And when I forget to put perfume, I want to touch it up. I can just take it, take it out and roll it and then kind of like just, you know, still smell good. But one thing that I don't like about roller perfume is that sometimes it doesn't have like that, that, um, I don't know, like the smell doesn't dissipate fully. I feel like it. it's just very contained, you know, only like. I or the one beside me who's really close can smell it, if not nobody can smell it at all. So yeah, that's one thing about bad about um like roller perfumes, but it's a good way to try out perfumes if you guys um are wanting like or like looking to try out new perfume but not sure if it if it fits you or whatnot, then you can use this chance to try out whatever you like. And yeah, this mark my recommendation and what is like hot for Sephora 20% sale. Uh hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!